Hello fellow readers, and uh, today is Sunday, and as usual, it is actual Sunday that I'm filming this because I forgot about Sunday. It just creeps up on me, and then I forget to film a video in advance, and so yeah, so I'm filming it on my webcam so that it'll just go directly up right away. There's no, because it's like afternoon on Sunday, night and morning. So instead of having to edit it on my camera and take all this time and then I upload it on Monday. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this done. I'm being, yeah, I'm being, yeah. <laughs> I'm still tired. I got to sleep in today. All right. So let's see the books I got this week. Uh, first book I got this week is, I'm really excited about this, uh, The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead. Um, as you know, I just started using the library in San Jose and the one thing I love about the San Jose Library, and I know I've talked about this when I first moved to Burbank, was that the San Jose Library has an online system where I can put books on hold. So I go crazy with that, and this is one of the results. I just like, all these books that I've wanted forever, I can just request them. Um, so yeah, Bloodlines for Rochelle Mead. It's the fourth book in her Bloodline series, and... Oh boy, do I love this series. Mainly because I love the Vampire Academy series, which this is like a spin-off from that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, next was like an epic find. I went to Paper Source, and when I went to Paper Source, I just went with my mom. We were looking around, and what a cool store this place is. And randomly on sale in this random area, they had this, which is... Um, Amy Carter's The Goddess Test box set. So we have The Goddess Test, Goddess Interrupted, The Goddess Inheritance, The Goddess Legacy, and yeah, for like, it was a deal. It was epic. I couldn't believe it. My mom bought it, and as you can tell, it was, it's gotten a little wear and tear, which is a bummer, but I said sometimes the deal just outweighs the condition. Sometimes the condition outweighs the deal. Anyways, and there's, I guess, a poster in there, and so yeah, I haven't even read any of these books, but I've always wanted to, so now I have a whole set. Why not? Sometimes it's best with the series to do that. Um, okay, next I got from the library Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Oh, I already finished this book, and I can't believe it's taken me so long to read it, but I understand the hype for sure. Wait for that review. It's a dystopian book, by the way, and it's a trilogy, and that's the first in the trilogy. Uh, next up, I got this. Now, for those who are confused right now, is I got this in the mail from Penguin, and I wasn't expecting it. It went to my old home. So this book actually arrived to me about a month or so ago, but it went to my old address, and so I had to work with my mother and our neighbor to get this book to me. I wasn't expecting it, um, so thank you, Penguin, for sending this to me. And it is... Uh, the Appetite of Girls by Pamela Moses. And... Let's see. Uh, this doesn't help you. Let's see what it says about this book really quick. Um, this is a finished copy. It came out on June 26th. Um, I need to contact them and let them know that this is not my address anymore. So it's about four women. Um, and they, be they believe they have little in common. Okay, they're freshmen in New York College. So it's kind of like a new adult. And they come from different religious, cultural, and economic backgrounds, and they cover the spectrum in terms of body size and eating habits. Um, and so basically, yeah, it's about um, growing up and all that during college times and being different and stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much, Penguin, for sending this. I was totally not expecting it. I need to contact them and let them know my address has changed. Okay, my nose is running. Can you tell? Not even editing this. Uh, so that was really exciting. Totally not expected. When somebody had, when my neighbor said, uh, "You got a book?" I was like, "What? I didn't order anything." Um, Since last summer by Joanna Philbin. This is the second book in her um, summer series, I believe. And the first book being, wow, I'm blanking right now. It's on my 
shelf. I know that because I just read it. I mentioned it in, I think, my other video. T, T, T. Uh, Rules of Summer, yes. The Rules of Summer series by Joanna Hill's second book. And um, it takes place in the Hamptons. All fun. I'm really liking Joanna Philbin. And the next is a book that's already been featured on my in my mailbox, and that is Audrey Waite. And this is also from the library, again, because last time I checked it out, I didn't get time to read it. So, Audrey Waite, Robin Benway, heard great things about it. Oh, and then one more thing I got on NetGalley. I need to figure out who this author is, so I'll have to check the link, check below for it. But uh, I got Mademoiselle on NetGalley, and it is a autobiography of Coco Chanel. So I'm quite stoked about that. It's a little different uh, than what I'm used to, or what I normally review. And so yeah, that's all I got in my mailbox. Can you tell? I'm, this is lazadaical. La 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 so yeah, no, I'm late, I guess. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye, fellow readers. Yeah, that's what I'm calling you guys now. Bye, fellow readers. I'll see you uh, tomorrow for the first 10 pages, which I also have no idea what I'm reading for that yet. I have to pick something good. Maybe comment below. All right. Bye.